lesson is basic with the following instruction you can understand how forester works and I will teach you what it takes for you to start creating natural surfaces very easily. To understand how to distribute the elements on that surface, we will add the plane, which will serve as a surface for the composition, and then a cube that will simulate cloning the element and we add forester option. Multi cloner to start making the changes. On the distribute on geometry tab, remember to add a plane in distribution for the changes to work. Check in the spray point to view the changes. An important section is scatter parameters. Here we increase or disincrease the amount of the cloner. You can change the random seat option to change the distribute here. And another way to change the distribution is up here at randomize M cloner. You can see the changes, it's so easy. The next option is very important to obtain a space in between vegetation that is natural and achieve a distribution that looks realistic. Imagine that we have trees here and if we see, for example, in this section, the tree is very close to the other. Um, then to fix it and make it look realistic, we must activate this option to make it work. Search distance. To manage this space and change its position, we increase the number and get a better distribution. Another important detail is the snap to distribution geometry option. Check to fix in the event that the multicloner only affects the surface and there is nothing outside of it. This option is very useful. Remember, it's not to distribution geometry. And with this option, you can start creating surface folds of trees and plants. Let's look at the next lesson, another very useful way to add nature to our composition.